a tour aboard the Spirit of British Columbia. I'm gonna show you around this ship. We're gonna start this tour on deck number four. This is the upper auto deck because, well, this is where we parked our car when we came on it. Now, this ferry can hold 368 cars total or about half that when it also has trucks and semis. Trucks and semis park on the lower deck, so we're not taking a look at the lower deck. The auto decks on this upper deck do have windows, and so you can stay in your car if you are parked here on the upper deck. Now, this ferry ride from Vancouver to Vancouver Island is approximately 90 minutes, and so you will likely want to get out of your car, or at least I will, though plenty of people stayed in their cars. Now, this is the Spirit of British Columbia. This particular vessel was built in 1993. To open the doors, you push this button right here, and uh, some people were coming out, so they already pushed that button, but if you don't push that button, you won't come in. That's the, like the water lock from both sides. So now we can take the staircase up to the fourth deck. There is also a central elevator that'll bring you up here. And I'm gonna show you the map so you can see what this total ship looks like. So this is the lower deck. Looks just like the one we were parked on, deck number four. We're gonna walk on deck number five, deck number six, and then we're gonna go outside to check out the sun deck, although today is not very sunny. So starting from here, first thing you'll see, there are some vending machines on board where you can get Coca-Cola, you can get some chips. They take credit cards, which is nice. I should also point out, if you need some cash money, they do have ATMs on board, restrooms on board as well, right here. And people were indeed uh, making cell phone calls while we're on board this ferry. So cell phone service works. Now we're on the fifth deck, heading forward to the front of the ship. This is the passenger lounge where foot passengers can come and sit. If you're driving a car on board, you can sit this way as well. There is also a small gift shop on board here where you can get all sorts of souvenirs. You can get pajamas, you can get kids toys, you can get candies, you can get galoshes, you can get everything you would need or everything you don't need, as the case may be. Now, right now we're about halfway between Vancouver and Vancouver Island. And so we're passing some islands on either side of the vessel that you can see as we look out this window. This is the second elevator forward. This one does not go up to the upper deck because that's where the captain is piloting the ship. Okay, so now we're walking around to the other side of the ship from where we started. The gift shop comes over here because it's in the center yeah. and we can go ahead and peek in the gift shop here as well. Our traveling princess, she really enjoyed this particular section of the gift shop because you can see it's got lots of children's toys. You can pick up a model British Columbia ferry if you would like, or perhaps a captain's hat or coloring books, everything to keep your kitties occupied. Now, going back this way, we're gonna head over to the cafeteria. There's actually a pretty significant cafeteria on board this vessel. There is normally a buffet uh, because it's during the pandemic. The buffet is currently closed and the lounge is currently closed. So the only eating option right now is here in this cafe that we'll take a look at. We are on the 3 p.m. departure, uh, so it's not really lunchtime, so there's not that many people eating here. The cafeteria usually has two sides. Today only the left side was running. And uh, we'll go ahead and go in the entrance instead of going through the exit. But you can see quite a number of people are taking advantage of the cafeteria. We saw a lot of people eating when we first got on board. One of the things that I thought was pretty unique about what they serve in the cafe on board is they serve poutine, the Canadian specialty of French fries with gravy and cheese curds. 
Here's some of the other things you can buy on board. Turkey chicken rice bowl, Caesar salad. How much do things cost? Apple juice, cost you about 350. Not too bad, deluxe fruit salad, 479. Asian salmon salad, 1049. Actually, these prices are all pretty reasonable. You can get pastries, blueberry loaves, apples for a buck 60. They've got fountain drinks. And then over here, they've also got sushi and sandwiches. If you wanna get some California rolls, that'll be $7.99. And uh, I think what most people were definitely getting was coffee, right? You want coffee when you're on a ship, you can sit there. If you wanna get some extra jams or honey, that'll be 29 cents per jam and honey. Ketchup or dipping sauces, those are gonna cost you two, 69 cents for the dipping sauces. Their dessert special on board here, raspberry rhubarb pie. All right, let's go ahead and head to the back now. The back is where they would usually have the Pacific Buffet. Uh, again, that is closed and so is the lounge. And so there's nothing else to see back this way on the fifth deck. So we're gonna go ahead up to the sixth deck and take a look around there. All right, this particular staircase as it comes to the sixth deck actually comes outside to a door that doesn't open. So, all right, we will not go through that door. Maybe I should have read the sign that tells me this staircase didn't go anywhere or that door was stuck or closed due to COVID. So we'll go up to the fifth deck from a staircase in the center that's actually open, which is the one here that's the central staircase right now. Well, when we take a look out this window right now, you can see there's another British Columbia ferry out there in the distance that you can see. Kind of a bit of a zoom, so hard to keep that steady. All right, let's go ahead and zoom that back out again. And now head up to this central staircase right here, back to the vending machines where we started. And we're gonna go up this staircase to deck number six. Now up here, it is mostly a uh, passenger seating area. As you can see here, there are lots of passenger seats up on this floor. And there's also these neat children's play areas. They have one on either side where you can play with your kiddos. So this is a lot of fun. The traveling princess is currently playing in one of those with mom OC girl while I'm walking around recording this video. And in the center of this floor, usually there's a Arbutus coffee bar, but this looks like another victim of the pandemic. The coffee bar, which is usually just here to the right, is currently closed. Okay, but the coolest part about the six deck is that you can come out one of these doors, which I was trying to do earlier to access the sun deck and come outside to see what is outside. It's gonna be a bit windier here now, but we'll go ahead and go to the back. This is still on the sixth deck just outside. One of the neatest parts about the ship, I believe, is kind of the fantail back here. There's some chairs back here, but also there is the Canadian flag in the back. So if you're looking to kind of get a selfie shot or something like that, I think a neat spot to do it is definitely with this Canadian flag flying right there. You can see the channel we just passed through of those islands. We can see the other ferry a little bit better right now from the top of this deck. Here we go, zooming in a little bit more. That's the other British Columbia ferry. I'm shooting this in November. So there's a light drizzle outside. They call this a sun deck, but I wouldn't let the lack of sun stop you from coming out here because I really think this is a cool part of the ship. And I think a lot of people 
don't even realize they can come out here because it's not super well signed. Now, if you are gonna be taking one of these ferries, this is our first time taking it. It was a little unclear how long we had to get to the terminal, how early we had to get there. Uh, if you wanna be guaranteed a spot for your car, if you're doing car sailing, you need to make a reservation. And then you need to get to the terminal between 60 minutes, one hour before departure, and 30 minutes before departure. During that time, you can go out and use the restroom, get out of your car, get coffee. There's a little like market and things like that that is at the ferry terminal. And then 15 minutes before the sailing departure is when they start to load the cars on. And then as soon as your car is on board the car ferry, then you can uh, get out of your car and come on board the ship. And then they ask you to get back to it a few minutes before so you don't sit and muck up the departure process. All right, this is deck number seven. You can see the pilot house up there where they are piloting the vessel. This is what they refer to as the sun deck. And what I think is the spot if you really wanna get away from people, but not just that, it's the least windy here because this acts like a wind block. And so you can stand here between the pilot house and the smokestack and then just enjoy the views of the islands as you go. And there we go from the car deck to the sun deck. Now, if you're heading to Vancouver or Victoria, you might enjoy some of my other videos about those two areas. You'll find the link right here for my entire playlist on Victoria and Vancouver. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video, also in the description below.